will not call on stage um, a serial entrepreneur. You might have known him from his time at um, Kelku, and he's now the co-founder and CEO of eBuzzing, and he will, um, he will explain you a little bit his vision on uh, digital video advertising um, with um, a keynote in the next 15 minutes, and his name is Pierre Chapaz. Help me welcome Pierre Chapaz. Salut. Here's your mic. Hi, everyone. I'm the CEO and co-founder of eBuzzing. We are a global platform specialized in the distribution of video advertising. We have teams across all major markets in Europe, as well as in the US. Uh, 250 people on board and growing like hell. So I will explain to you uh, the opportunity of online video advertising that we are pursuing. The theme of the of Le web this year is about the next 10 years. What we are seeing in the video advertising industry is the beginning of the migration of TV budgets towards online. This is just the beginning. Right now, the total of online video ads probably represent something like 3% of the TV budgets. But I, I bet that in 10 years, the figures will look very different. I won't put a bet to know whether it will be 20%, 30%, or maybe more. Who knows? But this is the beginning of a revolution. But the industry reaction to this opportunity of uh, video advertising online has been to copy TV model. You cannot invent the future looking forward. So there must be something more exciting to do than this pre-roll format, which is a copy of the TV model, where basically you are forced to watch an ad when you want to access video content on the internet. This is a passive form of advertising, which is annoying users. On top of that, it's not reaching 100% of the internet population, but only half of the population. If I am a brand, obviously, I want to reach 100% of the internet users. So I need to reach them through social media and media. I need to push my video ads through social media and media channels this is where eBuzzing is focusing. And all our formats are based on the idea that if the advertising that we are showing to a user is relevant, we must be able to create engagement. So it's the absolute contrary of a forced advertising, which generates obviously no engagement. If you present to the user a relevant advertising in the right context, with the right format, you have a good chance to generate engagement. Engagement can be anything from visiting the, the site of the brand, becoming a fan of, on Facebook, testing the product, even buying the product as we are able to integrate an e-commerce site inside our player. So all our channels and our formats have in common that it's, it's a click-to-play distribution. It, the video is seen by the user because they do a voluntary choice towards the ad. And obviously, our business model is CPV. We are selling views, not CPM, because what's important for a brand is not to know how many people have had the opportunity to watch your ad, but how many, how many people have actually watched your ad. So this is why uh, our business model is CPV. And you see here on this chart the numbers. We are growing very fast. The market itself is growing at a rate which varies between 21% in Europe and 37% in the US. We are growing faster than the market. We'll achieve this year close to $70 million, up from uh, $50 million last year. So let me show you some of the tools that we are using to create engagement. The first thing, if you want to engage the, the user, obviously, is the quality of the creative. 
We are proud to have been selected by Danone to distribute their Avian campaign. I'm sure many of, of you have seen the Baby and Me Avian campaign. Can you raise your hand if you have seen the campaign? Not bad. I see a couple of guys who haven't seen it. We'll share it with you. So the, the creative is obviously fantastic in this case, but we used to say content is king and distribution is queen. So even if you have the best creative in the world, you need to show it to the relevant communities to generate a viral effect and get to the kind of score that Evian has been getting with their video. They bought 3 million views from us, and we are now at 140 million views globally. This is the most successful video advertising campaign this year globally. So we have a tool which uh, allows our customers to test their creative. It's a pretest tool. We hire a sample of users which are we accepting to be part of the test. They watch the video and we record their facial expressions using the camera which is on their computer. And thanks to this tool which we have developed with MIT researchers, we are able to understand whether the person is paying attention to the ad or is distracted, is smiling, or is disgust, is confused, or uh, is laughing. And at, at the end of the test, we provide the brand with this timeline, which is showing to the creative team the reaction of the users to the creative. It's very useful, in particular, when you have to benchmark different versions of a creative. Then let's speak about the distribution. We don't distribute advertising in pre-roll formats, I told you, and we don't distribute either in IAB formats. You know, these banners that we all know how to avoid. We are trained not to watch banners. So we are creating new formats which are eye-catching, like the one here, it's a campaign for Apple. And if the user clicks on it, he gets a full page rich media interactive content, including the video. And obviously, he can do much more than just seeing the video. He can change the color of the product. He can get the technical information about the product. Uh, he can uh, uh, visit Apple site in this case. This is one example of uh, uh, creating engagement. Another way to create engagement is to connect directly the video with what you want to achieve. In this example, it's a campaign for Volkswagen. They want to achieve tests of their car. So at the end of the video, the video ends up on the site, on Volkswagen site, where the users can directly register to test the product. There is no discontinuity between the ad and the engagement that we want to create. Obviously, mobile provides even more opportunities to create engagement. To tell you the truth, I'm sure you will agree with, with me up to now, mobile advertising is a little bit boring. It looks like you know, the old banners of uh, early 2000, and we must do better. So let me show you this example. This is a campaign for Mini. We display this tab on the page, which is a, a movable tab. You can move it, close it. And if you click it, you come on a rich media page displaying a video and more information about the product. The ability to touch and feel is another way to create engagement. Deep integration with the content is also a very important factor. The advertising must take in consideration the context. In this example, it's a format that we are distributing in uh, most media, uh, premium media sites. We analyze the content of a page, and we will, we call it native video advertising. We will display the advertising inside the content but contextually relevant. So we know that this 
page is, is talking about a car, will select a car advertising. And when the video is finished, the content comes back as it was before. So this is additional inventory for all those media who want to benefit from the video advertising uh, opportunity. They don't necessarily have video content, but they have a lot of inventory where we can uh, distribute this kind of videos. Another way to create en engagement is, is as simple as that. Let's give the user the choice. Instead of proposing one ad, let's propose four different ads which have been selected according to the context and according to the uh, browsing uh, uh, data that we have concerning the user. And when the user will pick up an ad, obviously the fact that he has been choosing a brand is improving enormously the performance of the ad in terms of brand recall, in terms of agreement. This is a format that we are distributing within premium media as an alternative to paywall. You know that paywalls don't work very well unless you are Wall Street Journal and you have such a added value content that people agree to pay for it. But for most media, it doesn't work because similar content can be found for free on the internet. So this is a very good alternative to generate good revenue with those users who will access for free to your content or your service, but they will have to go for a video advertising role. Obviously, the power of recommendation is also a fantastic way to generate engagement. If you receive a video that we have been distributing, for instance, on blogs, who have been sharing by, shared by one of your friends on Facebook, you see it on Facebook, you will maybe not even see it as an ad. You will see it as content, because it has been as relevant content, because it has been recommended to you by one, f one friend. So the power of recommendation on the internet, the internet being social, is a major way to create engagement. And we have built technologies which allow us to identify influencers, bloggers, uh, power users on Facebook, on Twitter, and many of them are happy to work with us and distribute the campaigns of the brand that they like the most. This is a way to generate virality on the internet. And last not, but not least, the quality of experience. Why should we display an ad in a, in a small player? Why, when we, we can use a full screen HD rich media experience? So most of our formats are full screen. And when you create engagement, the, fun, the, the beauty of the internet is that you can measure everything. This is one of the major reasons why brands are moving more and more budgets towards the internet, is that you can measure everything, not just what you would expect. When you do a video campaign, you would expect to measure the number of views, the number of clicks, how many people have been going to the end of the video, how many people have been sharing the video, have been interacting with the video, just normal, but we can, do, we can do much more. We can track the conversation. We are indexing all the content which is published on the internet by millions of media, millions of blogs, Facebook comments, tweets, and thanks to our semantic technology, we are able to bring back to our customers a full analysis of the conversation which has been created by the campaign, including how did their share of voice evolve against the competition, thanks to the campaign? Did the people like the campaign or not? Did specific communication uh, objectives uh, were, were they achieved or not, thanks to the campaign? So this is like a new reputation technology, but focused on the campaign. I think I'm still on time. Uh, as a conclusion, I wish that my presentation uh, allowed you to understand 
our vision, which is that what we are seeing with the rise of video advertising is much more than uh, uh, a transfer of TV budgets towards the internet. It is the rise of a brand new video experience, which is combining the branding power of the television with the interactivity and the engagement of the internet. Thank you.